you don't realize how much stock, and this is from talking to people that know that Tennessee is putting in Keenan Pilly at linebacker, and it is a lot of stock. What the H? What the? What was he thinking? Release the hounds. The Dave Hooker Show. Keep cool. A presentation of offthehooksports.com. So I'm having this conversation with somebody at the University of Tennessee, and I'm just kind of curious. I'm asking about different guys just to get a feel for guys. Nothing that I'm reporting, but I did. We did talk about this on the show, and I asked about Keenan Pilly. And the person told me he said, "Don't underestimate Keenan Pilly." He said, Keenan Pilly knows this offense is incredibly well respected by his teammates, which is pretty rare for a guy who transferred in and played a game before he was out for the rest of the year. Keenan Pilly is now going to SEC Media Days. He's also, if you want to pull up the tweet at some point, he's featured at the very front. He's not in the center, like I would have put Cooper Mays, center of attention. Get it? He is right at the very front. He has played one game for the University of Tennessee. Caleb, um, is Tennessee putting too much in Keenan Billy because they're promoting him and they're depending on him to be that guy who is basically the Cooper Mays of the defense? He gets everybody in the right position. And we saw what happened at times last year when that didn't work out. Keenan Billy is right up there in the top two or three, four, five players that are MVPs of this group. It makes you wonder what last season could have been like had he played the whole year because there were some defensive issues at times. Um, they have loved Keenan Peely since he arrived on campus this time last year or even before last year. Yep. And I think that it for him to get to SEC media days, one, it makes me feel like he is fully healthy and back and ready to go. It sounds like that was just a freak injury, right? What happened? Last oh, year. yeah. Tricep injury, yes, is nine times out of ten a freak injury. Yeah, and it's not like it slows you down at all. Um, so, it, it, so, so somewhat like, dare I say, Dave, Kevin Burnett? Is Keenan Peely this year's Kevin Burnett for Tennessee? I think that Keenan's a little bit more of a tackle to tackle guy. Burnett, I think, has a little bit more athleticism, and Keenan may be better against the run in general. I was going to ask you this. He, he reminds me a little bit more of a Kevin Simon from what I've seen from practice tape. But pre injuries, right? Because Kevin Simon was really slow his last year because of all the injuries. Yeah, I'm basically looking at both at prospects coming into Tennessee. Um, with, with Kevin, it would have been as a high school prospect. With with Keenan, it was a college transfer prospect. So that, that's how I'm, I'm looking at him. Um, my question is, well, who's the best NIL transfer that Tennessee has gotten in this very short window of NIL, tra- NIL transferring? Since, like, are you talking about dating back to December of 2022? When yes. Because the best transfer they got is Hendon Hooker. But I guess since Josh Heupel took over as head coach, Brew McCoy, Brew McCoy. Where does Keenan Pilly rank? I mean, I can't rank him that high because he hasn't played anywhere yet. Now, this year, I think he could he could propel to number two or number one. But before, but until then, like you got to have John Campbell Jr. You got to have Omar Norman Lott. Um, both of those guys were very good players last year. So we're talking. I mean, those three specifically. I'm going to have to think a little more over who else would kind of fit into that mold. But those those three really immediately stand out. John Campbell Jr., Omar Norman Norman Lott, and um, yeah. Uh, Brew, right? You had Brew? Brew, Brew McCoy. Okay, yeah, so, Brew McCoy. Okay, l- l- let, me, let me debate this for a second. Brew, I think that Tennessee could find good receiver play elsewhere. They've proven that they could do that. It wouldn't be as good. No question about it. Um, but I think with Squirrel and Brazel and uh, Nimrod Webb, I think they could find that. Not as good. And I left out Dante Thornton. Um, I want to get back to, you said John Campbell. But if, if I flip it on the other side and I look at the defense, I think Keenan Pilly is in charge of the entire defense. I think Jonathan Campbell is in charge of the opposite left defensive end for the most part. So I think Keenan Pilly short of Nico, and I feel even stronger about this argument since we started having it, short of Nico, 
Ia Maleava is the most important player on Tennessee's football team. And I'm even going to go so far as to say more important than Cooper Mays, because at least you know how you can deal without Cooper Mays nowadays. At least Bison Lang knows he might have to play. Nope, that was a total shock last year. Now, if you look at Keenan Pilly, who's behind him? Jeremiah Tellender? That's a pretty significant drop-off. I think the drop-off there is more significant uh, than the drop-off would be on the offensive line. Agree? Disagree? I can't agree yet because I saw what happened to Tennessee last year without Cooper Mays at center. But I, and I don't want, and you know I'm not selling Cooper short, right? Yeah, but I don't but I will say there's an argument that Keenan Peely is the most important player on this defense. Um now and it's some because what's more irreplaceable? A guy who's the most like Keenan Peely is important because of the lack of talent behind him. James Pierce is important because James Pierce is the most rare talent you could ever have at edge rusher. And I don't care how deep you are there. Nobody there could do what James Pierce can do. You know what I mean? It's like, so it, it's debatable over which, who's It's more like important. you could have five, because I always thought it was interesting that Tyler Barron was kind of like a, a poor man's James Pierce, a very poor man's James Pierce. So you can have five Tyler Barons, but you'd rather have one James Pierce is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. You really have one James Pierce. Yes. I can have twenty Tyler Barons or one James Pierce. I'm to, I'm talking the one James Pierce with the twisted ankle. Yeah, no, I, I I agree. I mean, we're talking a rare, rare talent in that way. So it doesn't matter how deep they are; nobody else can do what he can do. But Keenan Peely, look, this stands out to me because we asked this question before the show. Is he the most valued Vol who hasn't been a starter in a history going into a season? The the only the only one that I could think of that was as ballyhooed was Albert Toino. Oh, I forgot about that. Because yeah. he was a junior college guy. I mean, junior college guys used to be a big part about a big part of what we did in covering college football recruiting because a lot of guys didn't qualify. Now somehow people magically qualify all the time. I'm not sure how that works out exactly. I'm sure I'm sure the academic standards haven't changed, and I'm sure that. The importance of athletics didn't have a wasn't a factor at all. Huh. Sports treasures carrying over five million <laughs> sports treasures and so much more. Follow on Facebook for the best sports memorabilia daily updates. Go to Sports Treasures TN. That's Sports Treasures TN carrying over five million sports treasures and so much more. Follow on Facebook for the best sports memorabilia. And if we can, can we put them? Hooker's Corner uh, Patreon page in there. We would love for you to join that because the next person that joins, I am going to hook up with, uh, it's officially in, believe it or not, it is, the NCAA uh, t-shirt in which the balls vanquished uh, the governing body that was so absolutely horrible, but you can get on board right now for just $9.98. There's the QR code. Go ahead and sign up. You'll get some uh, exclusive information from me and Caleb Calhoun when it comes to recruiting. Also, great prizes. We're going to give away a John Henderson autograph baseball. Uh, we're going to give a John Henderson autograph uh, mini helmet, I should say, a little bit later in the month. And anybody that signs up now gets that awesome NCAA Versus the state of Tennessee t-shirt in which the state of Tennessee won and won quite easily. 